my Kali machine can see traffic from all VLANs. Now this video is part of a series of videos where I'm showing you how to hack networks using Scapy and Python. It's amazing what you can do with a simple Python script and Scapy. It's amazing how you can DOS networks or do things that you shouldn't be able to do on a network if it's not properly configured. Networks need to be configured with security in mind. Combining Python with networking knowledge makes you very, very powerful. Before I continue, please do not use anything that I'm sharing here for non-ethical purposes. Use this for ethical hacking purposes only. I'm using my own equipment in this demonstration. These are my own switches. I'm not hacking devices that I don't own. In this video, I'm going to use Scapy on my Kali Linux machine to receive DTP or dynamic trunking protocol messages. Change them, in other words, forge new messages and send them back into the network to get to the network to do things that it shouldn't really be doing. If you're a network engineer, it's recommended that you disable DTP. You shouldn't allow ports that are connected to end devices to use DTP and form trunks using DTP. You should disable it. And hopefully this little Python script will show you why it's so dangerous to use DTP. This script is 10 lines of code, including comments, so it's actually a lot shorter. I'm using Scapy to receive DTP messages and then change the DTP status of messages to get the switches to dynamically form trunks with my Kali virtual machine. In this example, I'm running Kali within a virtual machine on Windows. That just makes it easier for more people to follow what I'm doing. You could run it natively if you wanted to. In this example, my Kali virtual machine is connected to a 3560CX switch. That's the bottom switch in this topology. Here's the switch. I'll log in, show IP interface brief. The Kali machine is connected to gigabit 05 in my topology. Show interface gigabit 05 switch port. This port is currently acting as an access port. It's not tagged or it's not trunking, but it's using dynamic order. In other words, it won't try and form a trunk with a, another device or another switch or my Kali virtual machine. It's waiting for the other side to initiate trunking. You should disable this, but if trunking was initiated, it would form an 82.1Q trunk. The command show interface trunk shows me that no trunks are currently formed. The switch is not trunking with any device, but that's not gonna stop us. We're going to use the simple script on Kali to form a trunk with the switch. Why do we wanna do this? Because at the moment, this PC is in VLAN one but I can get my Kali virtual machine to see other VLANs and I can use Wireshark as an example to sniff traffic on other VLANs because a Cisco switch by default will forward all VLAN traffic down a trunk port. You should be pruning your trunks if you configure your network properly. You shouldn't be allowing the switch to use DTP to form a trunk. So if I run Wireshark on my Kali virtual machine, once it forms a trunk with the switch, I'll be able to see traffic on other VLANs. Okay, so I'll take this simple script in Kali, open up a command prompt, nano DTP hack onepy paste my script in, simple script. Okay, so sudo python3 DTP hack one. Before I run that script, show interface trunk, no trunks are formed, show interface gigabit is 04. This is acting as an access port at the moment. Press enter, put in my pseudo password. The script will wait for a DTP packet to be received. It will manipulate it and send it back into the network. So notice gigabit 05 went down and then came up again. Show interface trunk shows me that the switch has set up a trunk, edited a 1Q trunk to my Kali machine. Show interface gigabit 05 switch port. It is currently trunking using 802.1Q. It was as simple as that to set up a trunk to a Cisco switch, even though that switch was using DTP auto rather than desirable. 
I basically rewrote the DTP message that I received as desirable, and I sent that into the network, and the switch formed a trunk with my Kali machine. So just to explain the script, very simple. I'm importing Scapy. I'm using DTP, so I've got load contribute DTP, so I can read DTP messages. I am sniffing traffic in the network looking for DTP messages. That's the well-known MAC address for DTP. I'm only capturing one packet, so by simply capturing one packet, I could do this. I could try and capture more packets. I'm changing the source MAC address in the packet received to that, and I am then changing it to desirable and sending it back into the network. As simple as that to basically attack a network. Now you could change the script. So as an example, I could do this, where I send multiple frames into the network. So I'll say for I in range zero to 50, send a DTP packet, wait five seconds, and then send it again. That'll just force the trunk to stay up because this trunk could time out. Now it's up for a long time actually, but I could set it so that it doesn't time out. And the reason I wanna do that is I wanna sniff some traffic. So what I'll do is copy that, clear the screen here, use Nano to edit my script. I'll paste that in and then I'll delete that line and let's run that again. So sudo python3 DTP hack py. I'm once again simply waiting for a DTP packet to be sent by the network. I'm grabbing that, changing it, and then sending a forged packet into the network. While I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna run Wireshark. Going back, you can see that one packet was sent, waited five seconds, another packet was sent. So back on my switch, show interface trunk, switch is trunking, I'll capture traffic. Now, show IP interface brief. Let's put gigabit 06 in a separate VLAN. So show run interface gigabit 06. That's the port that this Mac is connected to. So interface gigabit 06, switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 2, show run interface gigabit 06. So the Mac is in VLAN 2. I'll filter for DHCP messages. Okay, so on my Mac, I'm gonna set it to use DHCP. What it should do is send a broadcast requesting an IP address, and it does that. And you can see that it got an IP address of 10.1.2.1. So we can actually see the broadcast messages. There's the discovery message. Notice 10.1.2.2.5.3 sent an offer. So you can see the IP address that was allocated was 10.1.2.1. I am seeing traffic on a separate VLAN. And I'll just make the point here. Even though this Kali machine is in VLAN one, it's seeing traffic in VLAN two because a trunk port on a Cisco switch by default will forward traffic from all VLANs out of that port unless you manually prune them. So if I type show interface trunk again, all these VLANs are allowed across the trunk. At the moment, VLANs one and two are gonna be sent down that trunk. My Kali machine can see traffic from all VLANs now, uh, this is a broadcast. Now, if unicast traffic was sent, you might need to run a man in the middle attack. So you might have to do VLAN hopping. And I'll show you that in a separate video. So how do you send traffic into a different VLAN when you are in, a, in one VLAN? So I'll show you how you can jump from one VLAN to another. I'll show you how to use a man in the middle attack using Scapy. Scapy is really, really powerful. Hope you learned something in this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please like this video and click on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal. I wanna wish you all the very best.